We are live. We are live playing Sly Cooper. It's a game about stealing stuff, but you're a good guy. Ooh, bottom of the screen's cut off a little. I better fix that. Let me just... First of all, let me remove that. Hey, Donga, glad you could make it. Yeah, time to jump and press the circle button. You're not wrong. Wait a minute, is it just me or is... Is the video on YouTube only in... 360p? Was it like that last time? Oh, okay, no, that's just my example screen. Because I had it full screen to uh, position it. And the dog wants in. It's interesting that it's uh, even capped at 720p, because usually I have my streams at 1080, I think. But I'm guessing it's just because the emulator is only outputting to a certain amount of uh, resolution. So it's like, why would they waste 1080? Because yeah, even on my end, it's only... That's interesting. I wonder why that is. I wonder if that's like a PS2 thing. Because it does seem like the game is maybe at 720. But if I'm doing like a Dolphin, like a, a GameCube or a Wii game, it's definitely outputting in 1080 in that case. I wonder what's up with that. Anyway. Let's figure out what the mysterious tapping noise is. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. There he is. Okay, I'll stop. Soon. <laughs> it, you didn't stop for very long, did you? It's funny, I've been hearing that tapping noise for the same, like, for the last, like, 20 minutes. Okay, I'll stop. Soon. Soon. Travel okay. Plans to China have all been worked out. Wait, vicious voodoo. Oh, okay, so we can revisit the previous levels via these maps, and then the new level, world, or whatever you want to call it, um, is Travel plans to here. Alright, we're going to China, everyone. Also, hey, Christmas Self, welcome. We're going to China. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. You're road tripping to China? I don't know if that's gonna work very well for you, buddy. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. Oh, the next villain's a panda? He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Wow, that's rude. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Now this is how you introduce a boss. 
It's a panda that does kung fu. Sly Cooper in Fire in the Sky. Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. Like that? Like that? Is that what they're referencing? Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. Wait, so we can just go back in the van? What does that do? Oh yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> I made my crew drive back for nothing. Alright, I wonder what my new ability is. Oh, it's always a circle thing, huh? When you get it from a boss. Whoa! That dude. Riders on the Storm? No. That's a different song. And a different band. Hey, Fack. Episode 3 Sly and the Gang visit Panda Express. They don't actually go on some, like, world exploring thing they just go out and eat you want me to sing riders on the storm see that's a trickier one because it's it's a song that relies so heavily on the singer's unique voice so it's not gonna sound right riders on the storm Riders on the storm meow, meow. Into this world we're born Like a dog without a bone Riders on the storm Doesn't help that I forgot the lyrics I haven't heard that song in a while actually What the heck is this? They're like launching other minions I like how no matter how big and an enemy is, you, you generally can take them out in one hit. They're hungry for American Chinese food specifically, and they know it's way too expensive for what it is, but they just gotta kill the hankering. You know, I've only had Panda Express like once or twice. I actually do like it. Like a lot of people say it's not, I mean, okay, for, for Chinese fast food, which is what I would call it. And I like Chinese fast food, even like, just the same as I like, you know, fast food, other stuff. A fireworks show, Sly. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> awful. That poor village just got Jesus. freezing snow. Right. Oh my God, Jesus. millions are dead, You've Sly. Been with the fuse. Calm I'm down. My way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. That village may have been decimated, but we can still st steal stuff. That's all that matters, Bentley. Don't you know? That's all that matters, Birdly. Wait, there might be something down here. There isn't. What was I gonna say? Oh, so the one thing about Panda Express that I think was the thing is that they don't give you that much. Food compared to if you go to like a local Chinese fast food place where I don't know where I usually go they will like give you a huge container just stuffed full and Panda Express doesn't give you nearly as much that that's like the only flaw that I could really find personally fact said they had one just outside of campus on my walk back home and it was so tempting every time I went by I bet it was. I bet it was. Ooh, we are very high up. Wait. Oh, I thought there was going to be... Now I feel like I missed clues or something. I thought I was going around the wall to get to clues. But that's okay. 
Mm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. I feel like I might have missed something. Dude, these icicles are no joke. Oh, it's just a wall. Oh. Ow. All right, in this game you have very limited hit. Uh, I gotta be more careful than that. I'm trying to think of all the places that are near my campus. Uh, once I start going back there again. I actually just saw them the other day because I went to the school to talk uh, to uh, talk about some like financial aid stuff. Um, and they had new places there from the last time I've been there. They have like a Jamba Juice now. They had like a shrimp place. I forget what it was called, some shrimp place. They had all kinds of places. It, it's gonna be very tempting. Panda Express does get lots of points for le letting me just order meat without rice. Oh, really? Oh, that's right, you don't like rice. I forgot about that. That's like Fak's big uh, food quirk. Is that he's like, he really does not like rice. Which I think is so funny because rice is like to me like one of the most inoffensive foods out there. It's like such a... I don't know. It's a funny thing to, to not be a fan of. Who's, who's smashing all the china? Well, I gotta smash the china to get the coins. It's the rules. Whoops, he saw me. Ow, I shouldn't have ran. I should've... Oh, I used a horseshoe. Girl, gotta love your man. You gotta love your man. If I was a guest at someone's house, I wouldn't be offended uh, for rice, but I ain't paying for no rice. That's just a waste of plate space. Oh, I was gonna ask the same thing. Is that uh, you, Donga? Do you like noodles, though? Because, you know, generally you can choose between rice or, or like, chow mein. Fried rice or chow mein. That's the thing. Okay. Fact. That's the thing, though. I know Panda Express probably doesn't have fantastic fried rice. I don't remember well enough. But there's, like, some really good fried rice. I didn't realize this until when I went to Japan and I went to a, a couple Chinese food places in in uh, Japan that they have like fried rice where it's just that's the whole meal the whole meal is just fried rice and you're like what that's like filler right that's just to like help fill your plate up like no the fried rice is that good that that's just the meal by itself oh I see there's a little awning right there I wasn't catching that last time. Usually do opt for noodles when I'm at a proper Chinese restaurant. I usually get both. I like I like having rice and noodles. That's the thing too though, there's like lots of different ways to, d to prepare rice, to, to use rice. And even like to me, like plain white rice isn't a waste of space either, because like, pl like plain white rice that's like cooked really well is really good too. <clears throat> but um... Rice noodles I'm personally not big on. I think if, I, if I'm gonna get a noodle, you know, 
I'm gonna get a noodle. To me, that's like a... Uh, there's this fast food place uh, out here called Baker's. And their gimmick is that they have both like burgers and like fries and stuff, but they also have like Mexican food. They have like tacos and burritos and all that. That's kind of their gimmick. And I like those things. I like fast food burgers and fast food burritos and tacos and stuff. But they also have a taco burger, which is just a burger with taco meat in it instead of the patty. So almost like a sloppy joe type of thing. And to me, it's like, no, I, I either want a taco or I want a burger. I don't want a taco burger. Like that's just like, for me, part of the burger is the texture. Well, any food really. How did I get up here? Okay. I'm not going to question that. Um, so to me, that's kind of like rice noodles. Either I want rice or I want noodles. Or rice and noodles, but together, but separate. But I don't need me rice noodles. You feel me? That's just my personal preference. Wait, wait, what's this? L1. Sorry, I, I should have listened to Birdly a little closer. But it's heavily guarded. Okay. I should have listened to Turtly a little closer. Oh boy. Can I just take these guys out from behind? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, what am I doing sneaking around? All I gotta do is... All I gotta do is sneak up and... Temporarily. And then smack them. And then you're good. And you even get a bunch of coins for your troubles. Christmas Elf said, I cannot eat rice by itself. To me, like, rice combined with the right foods, like make it so much better. Like, I love curry, but I don't want curry without rice. Like, you have to have the rice, in my opinion. It's like pizza without the crust. You know, like, not all crusts are made equal. Some crusts are better than other crusts. But you gotta have crust or else it's not pizza. You know what I mean? That's kind of like how it feels for me. Poisonally. Oh, no! That was my last life. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. But, uh... I, don't, I feel like... I don't know if this game really needed lives the way that it uses lives. I don't know. You can't blame it because it's, it's a product of its time. You know, everything had lives. God damn it. But the f I don't know. There's just something about whenever I run out of lives, it's never like oh no. I need to like be get better. It's just like ah, I goofed up a little too many times. I have to redo the thing. It's funny, once in a while, the gameplay really does rem Ugh, God damn it. Why did I not jump that high that time? I don't get it. I think the other times I was jumping right over him. Let me look at the replay. I don't know. I, I guess I jumped into a higher spot. Oh no! What are they talking about? Food? That sounds about right. Mm. 
But yeah, I used to have that mentality of like... I mean, it's hard for me to not have the mentality of like, you know, finish all the food on your plate and stuff. Because it's kind of like how I grew up of like, oh, d you know, don't waste food, you know. Because food expensive sometimes. Wait, I have an invisibility thing now? That they never thought to bring up yet? What the heck? Okay, I guess that's the thing I, I got from the alligator. Although I don't remember the gator ever turning invisible. Um, what was it? Like when I wasn't thinking before, I was just getting through these guys like nothing, and now I'm all like paranoid. What was I just talking about? I was talking about something and I got... You get the technique from the pages they had, not the boss themselves. Oh, okay. Well, I assumed that they, the bosses were using the techniques, hence the reason why they stole the pages. Um... Oh yeah, pizza. So I was like, so, you know, for the longest time I always had the mentality of like, finish everything on your plate. Um... But I've kind of gotten to the point where like, Sometimes you shouldn't have to, like, if you're forcing yourself to finish something that you really don't like, you shouldn't have to do that, you know. If you're, like, literally starving, then you probably should, but... Um... But anyways, that, that point comes to pizza, where I used to think, it, you know, it's kind of a responsible thing to eat your crusts. You should always eat your crusts of your pizza, or else you're wasting crust but no now I kind of came to the point where it's like some pizza crust just aren't worth it you're just literally eating excess calories for no reason so now it's like okay if the pizza crust is really really good like that's some bomb ass pizza crust then yeah eat that crust but if it's just like there and it doesn't feel worth it you don't gotta force yourself. I like the use of fireworks in this level, that's fun. I like the trajectory for that uh, one firework. It f flies in a quick loop and then comes back and blows up the same spot. Like the 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 same little area that you're inside of, which seems kind of dangerous. Oh god. Okay, good, we got him. Oh, I didn't even notice this here last time. All right, so now we're only missing five of those. So maybe I won't attack these guys this time, because it was working before, and then... Wait, hang on. Okay, I don't know. Up up ahead more, they are starting to get alerted by it. I don't know if just because there was more dudes. Ooh, I got a life out of that, though. That might make attacking them worth it. Yeah, that's probably what was happening. I was hitting one of them... And another one was seeing me. We'll just do whatever's convenient. Oh, but there's clues over there. Damn it. No, that dude definitely just turned around and saw me. But like, I could just turn invisible. I'm, I'm really surprised they haven't brought up the fact that I have that power now, because it would be very useful here. I feel like previously they were bringing that up at the intro of the other levels. Okay, sweet. 
not gonna teleport me, right? I have to actually go back to the door. Okay, good. Because I still have these clues to grab. Dang, I feel like I missed like one clue earlier on in the level. Just kind of bad considering I've been through it twice now. Unless there's another one hidden be between one of these bushes. But I'm not seeing it. Hey Sally, no worries. Hope you're having a nice day. Dang, where was that last clue at? I wonder- Oh no! Well, that was a waste. It's very tempting when there's only- I'm only missing one. Oh no, I didn't want to go right to the door. Hopefully I have to step inside of it. Okay, good. Um... Well, we'd have to go back anyways to use the safe, so let's see if maybe we go back if we see anything real quick that we might have missed. Is it next to the safe? Uh... Doesn't look like it. It might be in just the previous area altogether. Uh, I'll check real quick. Might be just like... Most of the enemies are cleared out anyways, I think. Oh, or I could just get him from behind. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like around here somewhere. Because I was like, running past the enemies. So it might be... Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I know that, um, Mike was really big on that game. I think he was really big into all the Marvel games. I, I kind of only really liked up to Marvel 2, personally. I'm not really great at any of them. Like, I, I, I can't do any of the actual moves that you need to know in order to, like, be good at the game. But I had a lot of fun playing Marvel 2, Marvel 1 and 2, and Capcom vs. Street Fighter, and stuff like that. Watch when the, the one clue I missed is like way at the beginning of the level. Oh no, what the heck? I didn't walk forward at all, why the heck? That's a little annoying. Oh, and then they change your checkpoint spot, too. That's... not cool. I, I always assume they... Now, I don't know if I should just keep going back or if I should... Ah, forget it. I'm just gonna go back to the door. Because I don't know how many bosses we're gonna do today. I don't know if we're gonna do one. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do one boss or both bosses, because I think we have two left. And now... Oh my god. Sorry. There we go. Oh, what the hell? That's cheap! There was always a space between two icicles. And then suddenly there was three icicles. When the hell... When did that start happening? Tricky. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the exit. I, I just... I, I, I bet the clue was all, all the way at the start of the level.
really no reason to be hitting these, <laughs> but... Uh, the style in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is really good transition into comic booky 3D. Yeah, I think that was just a big thing for me, is like, I really preferred the... the 2D sprites of the original Marvel games. But, you know... I think Mike... Was it Mike that told me that Marvel 3 clearly had like more work put into the visuals than the one that came after it? Marvel Infinite or whatever? Even like for a lot of like the super attack animations, like in 3 they're really cool. Like I, get, I think Ghost Rider has his, his uh, pennant stare and has like a really cool animation that it happens in 3. And then in Infinite, it's like barely anything. Oh, there it is. I'm glad I decided to look one more time around the end of the stage. Oh no! What happened? Okay, we still have another life though. Okay, the way that the ledge was, I didn't see the... yeah. Imagine if that was my last life. <laughs> Redo the level again. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five seven eight. Five seven oh, seven eight. Sir Andrew Cooper. He used to make fake standups of himself to confuse guards into attacking ah. the wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. You know what? In most games, the make a a decoy move is generally not that great, but I feel like this would be one of those rare instances where it could actually work pretty decently. Wait a minute, you can use the D-pad to run around this whole time? Oh... I should have figured when you told me you could use the D-pad for the racing part, but for some reason, I just... Okay. I'm gonna be using the D-pad from now on. Wow. I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I feel like in this instant, he's waving. That's actually a nice little detail. Uh, A-double-O. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite just straight up lifts models wholesale from 3. It does not work because they're totally different graphical styles. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Isn't it weird, like, they took out, like, all the X-Men or something, too? I don't know if that was, like, some licensing thing like isn't like wolverines like not even in infinite i think it was it was either wolverine or some other character and that's weird because wolverine was like the one of the marvel like what the no wolverine no magneto no storm gosh yeah that's so weird Uh, the D-pad was most superior for PS2 games, says Double O. Yeah, like, I haven't had a lot had a lot of experience playing 3D platformer PlayStation games. And I'm not a big fan of the PlayStation's joystick for these types of games. I'll be honest, it just it feels weird. Now, I had a PS1, but I'm pretty sure my PS1 didn't, ha didn't have a joystick. Is this just you walk off and die? You do. They set you up for death there. That's messed up, man. I don't appreciate that. They make it seem like a path you can shimmy around, but once you start shimmying, you just fall to your death. Okay, well, or you just fall to your death either way. There we go.
X-Men don't show up in MCU because they keep time traveling in their shows. I've said this before, but I don't think the X-Men need to enter into the MCU. Because the X-Men's world is already so big by itself. Especially, like, in terms of comics, I can see how they can pull it off a little bit better. Or, like, animated stuff. Like, shows. But when it comes to movies, you could have... X-Men just be its own cinematic universe by itself. You could have uh, multiple movies focused around different characters, I feel like. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. <laughs> I like how these fireworks have locks on them. Okay, sure. Um. Valued employee. Seems legit. I was forced to bury them alive because they didn't pay their taxes. The King of the Hill. Saying I can't use the D-pad aim? You could do that or you could connect everything because that's what seems to earn the big bucks. Yeah, but it feels like I feel like that's gonna be a mess. Cause it's like Okay, now we have the MCU, which already has a million characters. And now we're going to add another MCU's worth of characters to that. Like that's just like to me that just seems like it's too much. Personally, it feels like it's going to be a mess to try to do that. And that's probably already partly the reason of why Endgame was so messy. Because there was already so much stuff they had to, to jam into that. So it's like, okay, let's... Make things even more... Complicated? I don't know, maybe they could pull it off. But the thing is... They're already going to make their own X-Men, right? They're not going to use the... X-Men that we've known for 20 years. They they might. Yeah, Murray, you can only take one hit. Murray. Let's go, Sly. You need to build up your constitution a little better, buddy. Isn't it accurate to the comic books if it's a mess? Well, I mean, the comics have... have the... the, uh... the advantage of... having all these different heroes have their own runs... for a long time ahead of time before all the crossover stuff started happening. The thing is, now the MCU's gonna have to, like, establish a new X-Men... And, you know, even just having to establish all these different heroes. And, like, it takes, it's a lot harder to make, well, more time consuming and expensive to make a movie introducing a character or characters than it was to do comics. Or still is, really. You know, it's kind of like how some things work better in book format. Some things, and some things work better in film format. Depends on what it is, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna lose him for a second. Isn't the key up there? Oh. I was really confused what he was doing there. Damn it! Ah, oh, Murray! I could have sworn he took more than one hit last time. 
Why did Murray get so weak? I swear before he was taking like at least two hits. So sorry I haven't been able to really look at the chat during this. And at the same time I'm trying to remember something. I was gonna say something about something. Oh, I mean, I guess another example of just things being kind of done differently in the movies is how a lot of the characters and or tools in the MCU has uh, have been like nerfed. Like the Infinity Stones and the Infinity Gauntlet is very nerfed compared to how they were in the comics and like a lot of the characters are. And I think that just kind of it, that makes sense t to a degree as well. And it makes things more interesting too. Like the fact that the Infinity Gauntlet is such a... Uh, is such a draining thing to use. Like, oh, when you make your, uh, your wish and you snap your fingers at it, if you're not someone who's extremely durable, it's probably going to kill you, or at least nearly kill you. Whereas in the comics, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna snap my fingers over and over again and do whatever I want a million times. Damn it, he's gonna hit him again. Oh, I freaking knew it! Ah! Oh, maybe start getting the guy on the left first. The same part. Hey, let me read some stuff here. Um, new Hawkeye show, Kingpin shows up, wonder if Daredevil or Catwoman pop up. Oh, maybe. Possible, they they live in New York. Um, which X-Men? Original X-Men, post first class X- You know what, I completely forgot there was even like already like a new X-Men back. I forgot about that. I've watched a couple of those films and they were very not good. Like I watched the Phoenix movie. And the only reason I did is because I was... And I watched Apocalypse. The only reason I watched them too is because it's when I was going to Japan. And I had like 12 hours to waste. And... Yeah, they were very... Oof. Oof. I'd have to like remember exactly what it was about them. But I just remember being really... There was like, 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 Xavier is just like this asshole who just like does all these things without really thinking. And it almost feels like, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I can't think right now because of this Murray thing, but I will get back to you. Actually, I was supposed to read more comments. Um, I think they'll try to keep everything one universe as much as possible, barring one, one offs like Doctor Strange and Loki. For the same reason that they do crossovers in comics, you'll get the people who only want to watch the X-Men movies to come to those crossover events. Uh, Phoenix was terrible, Apocalypse was pretty bad, First Class is the best X-Men movie. I don't know if I saw First Class, I might have not seen that one. All I remember is like, Xavier like put the X-Men in a very dangerous situation for no reason, and I think, like, at least one person dies or something. And he literally just does it, like, for publicity. It's weird. Like, he's just very irresponsible. And then, uh, Mystique has this really cheesy line that comes out of nowhere. Like out of nowhere, after it's near, it's after like they have a mission that goes really wrong because of his fault. And Mystique straight up goes, "You know, it seems like the women are saving all the men around here. Maybe it should be, you should change the name or whatever." And it's like, where did that come from? It was it's very weird. Like nothing really prompted that. Like I guess you, I can understand if you want to discuss the name X-Men and why you might want to consider 
a name that more represents 50% of the, you know, more than 50% of the team or whatever. But it's just the way they did that was just really awkward. It's like, why was she like suddenly in that moment upset about the name of the team? Uh, when there is like uh, other things to be more concerned about. Oh, that was way more than halfway, Murray. Uh-oh, never mind. Now what? Okay, where's the other one at? Oh boy. Murray's kind of a scaredy cat, isn't he? He's frozen in his boots whenever stuff's going on. Oh, they're still coming. Um, Mystique a low-key good character via growth. Young Xavier is a party animal. Donga said they should call it the exceptional people. I mean, it's it's tough because X-Men has been the name for like 50 years and it's, it's easy and catchy. And, um, you could argue like X-Men the word men is in woman as well and you could just kind of think of it as like you know it is technically saying everyone in that sense i don't know like mankind for instance is is supposed to be talking about all humans not why did I not have my dive equipped? I swear my, my special move just changes automatically sometimes. Gosh darn it. It had like the worst thing equipped too. I think it was my mine which takes like five seconds to uh, go off. Oh. Uh, I hope that doesn't cause a problem. That was my last life and I died and as I went into the... Did I... Am I in the level? I think I am. Okay, but I'm gonna just die. So I can reset my lives. But sorry, Fax said that Mystique gets kind of worse as the first class timeline goes on because Jennifer Lawrence very clearly did not want to stay on. Hmm. Um... My favorite character is Beast because he's always in jail, but he's a lawyer. Beast is cool. Beast is cool because like his whole thing is like he's like his most impressive characteristic is that he's really, really smart. Like he's like a genius, like a super genius, but like obviously on the outside, he's got this, you know, beastly blue body and he's like super strong and athletic and stuff. But his brain is the real thing. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone actually thinks X-Men is exclusive. The X-Men are often used as a stand-in for oppressed people or minorities. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's kind of like the whole, or, you know, one of the big parts of the series is just how, uh, how the X-Men have to deal with all of the, this hatred and, uh, all that stuff 
specifically the X-Men. It's it's interesting too, because most heroes. Oh, this is where I need to use the invisibility, right? That's what he was saying. I just wasn't paying attention, probably. Which I just hold the circle. Yeah, that's the point of this carpet here. Um. What was I saying? No, no, but yeah, exactly. Because the X-Men are, like, hunted down. And they're like, oh, you're not like us. And it's kind of, like... In a, it, it, well, but here's the thing, though, Fak. I think that's y another reason why the X-Men are best off in kind of being their own thing separate from MCU. Because that's already a big thing right there. Where the X-Men have to deal with all of this... Uh, oppression and isolation and hatred and stuff. Whereas most Marvel heroes don't have to go through that for whatever reason. And you could, you could say, okay, the people are being really, uh, um, they're being very, uh, flaky on that. So if you start having like all this MCU stuff and these X-Men stuff at the same time and then it's like, okay, the X-Men are hated and all this, it might feel a little weird if they're standing right next to all these characters that are like, you know, loved by the people and stuff. And they've already tried to do the thing. They've already had like Civil War happen already, so... That would have been the best place to put the X-Men into, if you were going to have them cross over, was into Civil War. But that's already happened now. At a much smaller scale than the comics, but... Sorry, I'm not thinking. I always make that joke if I want to make some remark about running for office. My platform, no, no more mutants. Yeah, I mean, I would have known to do that right away. I just, it's because I'm, like, trying to talk about other stuff. And I am I am horrible at multitasking. I know this may come to a, a shock to everyone, but... My multitasking skills are... Not very good. Uh, but I think you kind of get the point that I was saying. Double O said, when I watch Marvel, my go-to question is where are the other heroes? Like, what's Spidey doing? Or where's this character when it comes to the New York environment? Yeah, mostly just the fact that, like, Stanley made so many characters based in New York. Well, the main ones are really, like, let's think about it. Spider-Man, uh... Fantastic Four. Spider-Man and Fantastic Four have crossed over since the very beginning. Like, they, they were the first ones that Spidey really crossed over with. But unfortunately, we haven't had Fantastic Four in the MCU. Like, j they just barely got the rights to use the Fantastic Four recently. So my guess is that they haven't been created yet because there's not been one single reference to them. It just kind of has to be that way, I guess. I guess what they could do and what they might do is they'll just have a very select number of X-Men make appearances, crossovers I mean. It's too bad that um... They were nev never, because uh... Hugh Jackman has been Wolverine for so long. 
that it would have been cool to see him in the MCU at one point, even for which I guess they technically he could make a cameo at, since the, they're already doing multiverse stuff at this point. It's like that is always possible, but I, I don't know if he wants to play the character again. He is getting older. It's shocking how well he's been able to play the same character without looking too much older for so long. That could be some good retconning the MCU could do. Move more heroes out of NYC. Yeah, that's a good point. I feel like that's kind of what Sony was sneakily trying to do with with Venom and Eddie Brock, like having him, having them in in San Francisco, which they might have been from San Francisco originally. I don't remember if that was a thing in the comics. Kiko would probably know because he he's really a really big Venom fan. But having them like Venom and stuff just all happen in San Francisco, so that he had an explanation as to why. He never interacted with a potential Spider-Man. This is a new enemy. I grew up watching Spider-Man and the Amazing Friends, Iceman and Firegirl. I remember that cartoon. Like the cartoon itself is before my time, but I remember catching it on like Boomerang or something. I, I remember that, that was a cool show. The Venom movie is in San Francisco, so is the Sean Lee movie. They do some wild stuff with the Agent Venom run. Is Agent Venom the one where it's... The symbiote is connected to, to Flash? Or am I thinking of a different one? Or is that anti-Venom? Anti Could be both, yep, potentially. Boomerang was awesome because they would have all these old cartoons from the before times. <laughs> hey, you're blocking those two clues, buddy. I don't appreciate that. And then Boomerang would slowly start showing like cartoons that used to be on Cartoon Network, but they aren't anymore. And then like the last time I checked out Boomerang, they were just straight up showing like anything it seemed like. And it kind of, to me, ruined a little bit of like what it was. Because that's where I saw like a lot of like old cartoons from like the 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, like a huge bulk of those were, were was from Boomerang. Hmm, am I just gonna wrap around there? If this leads over there... Okay, I think I'm gonna lead back the other way though. Maybe. We'll see. Usually that's how it is in this game. You, you see clues that seem like they're... Like, out in some secret place that you have to like do some thing to get to and then it turns out like you'll just naturally get there eventually you just have to be patient oh god that's not good oh no oh i had a horseshoe Oh, I should have just went to the end and broke that and then went back and grabbed them. I didn't think about that. I always forget that the yellow lasers can always be shut off. Flash Thompson, just Spider-Man's bully or is he someone bigger? 
I mean, that's how he started off. He's basically Spider-Man's bully, but then they do, they do start using him in more interesting ways as it goes on. Flash. Ah. He bully every Peter. Flash. Ah. Peter shall be bullied. Ah, so the safe's up here. Where is this trying to bounce me to? Oh, the last clue's up there. Well, not, not the last one that I need, but the last one, probably. But then what was this secret? Not a secret, but there's like an area in here. Fly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Mm. If I go down there, am I going to be able to get back up if I find the clues? Pretty much every character that's been in Marvel Comics for a long time has become a hero or villain at some point. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's the interesting thing about comics, is that there's just so many versions of things. That's why it's always kind of silly if you're like, oh, this character could beat this character, or this character could do this, and it's like... I mean, which version are we talking about? Because there's so many dif different variations. You could literally write any character to beat any other character, pretty much. It's probably more interesting if you just say specific events that have happened. Like, oh, this character did this to this character one time. Oh boy. Oh no. I guess I just missed those two clues straight up because I'm not seeing any down here. Oh well. Oh well. You can't always find all the clues. But if you try sometimes. You'll get another clue. Do I have my dive on? Yes, I do. Take this! My dude has a sword in one hand and then two more swords on his back. It's like, do you have enough swords, dude? The Hulk used to be my favorite because he was Berkeley, California. I used to live in Oakland, which was next to the city over. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I'm not from that area, but... I, I, I went up to San Francisco one time, very briefly. I took a mega bus. And I remember we passed through, like, Oakland, Berkeley, that area. On the way. these paper lanterns having a hero close to home made me so happy yeah that's that, that's always cool I know we we kind of got the short end of the stick because all those Marvel heroes are like on the East Coast for the most part there is a West Coast Avengers um, which I forget do they reference that in the MCU is that where the second Avengers Headquarters is located is that is that on the west coast because I, I know they used to have the like the Stark Tower one And then they moved to another location But I forget if that was the uh, Like a west coast Avenger type thing Well the west coast Avengers are supposed to be like a, an entirely different crew though, so probably not
So you're thinking, how would I get up there? But you're probably... Whoa, wait, 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 can we just shimmy? Oh, where the hell did you come from? No, cannot shimmy, we will fall through. Yeah, okay, we'll probably just get up there naturally at, at another point. Especially when Hulk fought the giant dogs from his movies. Man, I haven't seen that, the original Hulk film in forever. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because for some reason they decide to like give these dogs like the same uh, thing that the Hulk had, right? Or, or they inject it, they inject it with Hulk's DNA or something. I forget how it worked exactly. I forgot about that. It'd be funny if one of them was a Chihuahua. So it was just like an insanely buffed up Chihuahua. Oh, there's a horseshoe down there. And now we can safely get it. Looks like there might be something down there as well. It was the most random villains Hulk could have fought. Yeah. Yeah, because the Hulk has villains. Well, I guess the, the Hulk's dad was kind of the main villain of that movie, right? And I honestly don't know a whole lot about... A whole ton about the Hulk's... Uh, stuff. Because the, the Hulk's dad actually... His, his powers reminded me of a DC character who had very similar powers. I forget his name, but he basically had the same thing where he could, he could, uh, obtain, oh, okay, good, I got him before he got me. He could, uh, change his body to become any, uh, ele element or something like that. I always forget his name, though. It's funny, I think I was just, I was just telling Mike about him the other day, too. I was like, look at this character. All you need to know is it's a shame that they kind of cashed in the Planet Hulk plot for a subplot in Thor Ragnarok. I do know of Planet Hulk and I can kind of understand, like, I mean, I'm. it's nice that they at least like alluded to that. Because I feel like in order to do Planet Hulk, it would have had to have been almost like a Logan type of thing where it was just completely separate from the rest of the movies. But hey, why not, right? I guess they, they technically could have done that. Hey, I mean, like, hey, all of the crossover stuff's been awesome, but maybe they should do more standalone films, because then they'll have more freedom to do crazy storylines. Or if they even do, like, a Marvel Zombies or something. That'd be freaking crazy. Could you imagine an R-rated Marvel Zombies? Are these dudes okay? Practicing their... ...unchucks. I think they do a Zombies episode on the What If show. Is that show any good? I feel like I keep asking people and I, I can't remember if I've heard yes or no. Because I really like the What If stuff in general. That stuff's really fun. 
but I feel like I, I can't ever find someone who's actually watched the show yet. Man, I'm having trouble. There we go. Oh, I thought maybe hitting them all was gonna unlock something. What's that fiery portal? I think I don't want to go in that yet, do I? Maybe I'll binge it tonight. <laughs> Is that what you like to do, fuck? Are you a, a binger? You go from, I've never seen that show before, to all the seasons at once. Apparently it's going to be important for Doctor Strange 2 as well. Oh yeah, I heard about that, actually. hoping for a gong sound. You saw what I did with Jojo, I know. Yeah, I remember when you were like just barely starting and, and then I was like, oh hey, maybe I'll watch uh, part five finally when you get to that. And then it was like the next day and I'm like, so uh, did you watch, you know, how many did you watch? And you're like, I'm caught up. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. But I don't know, I'm not really like... I'm not really super... Uh... What's the word? Which way do I want to go exactly? This would lead down over here, this would lead over here. I'll, I'll go this way first, I guess. I don't feel like a huge urge to continue JoJo, honestly. Like, it's a fun show, especially if you're watching with friends. But nothing's really pushing me to be like, oh, I gotta watch the next thing. Like, I'm glad people could get, well, really excited about it, but I, it never really struck me that way. For me personally. I just hate waiting for TV. I'll take a break between watching seasons, but give me the whole creative chunk all at once. I'm mixed on it. Some shows it might be... I would argue some shows might be better to have a week between episodes to really like digest what you've seen and, and discuss. Whoa, like, can you believe what happened? What do you think is gonna happen next? Like stuff like that. Not just with whoever you may be watching it with, but like with everyone in the world at the same time. Like that stuff's really interesting. IMO. So I could ride this and go down there. Um, But then there's this area over here as well. Is it behind this fireplace? I'm trying to remember. When it comes to Marvel, I appreciate what they give us. I don't really hold them to high standards because that's how you get let down like Call of Duty zombies. I'd have to ask my brother about that one. He's much more knowledgeable about Call of Duty. Yeah, because then there's this that leads... Oh, this leads back to the exit, I think. So this should have been the way I went first real quick. Okay. I see what's going on. I think. Alright, so this is the right way.
Well, there's 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 a uh, positives and negatives of having to wait a week. Because I will say, when I was watching the final season of Breaking Bad, it was like the most stressful wait between episodes in my life. It was like there was like one episode in particular where I literally was just so stressed waiting for the next episode to start. It was it was a ridiculous cliffhanger. But I kind of liked that. I hated it, but I liked it. It's hard to explain. It's like, I guess you, what do you go on a roller coaster for? You, for a thrill, right? Or why do you go in a haunted house? It's kind of like one of those things. Like it's making you feel an emotion. Um... Because there's definitely excitement as well. And there's definitely... Like, an anticipation of an exciting thing is definitely a, a big feel. I appreciate the one week standard of episode time space. So it says double O. Back said to this day, I've only ever played World at War Zombies. I was more of a Left 4 Dead person. Um, Fact, did you ever play or look into Back, Back for Blood at all? Because I, I watched a Crobat video on that recently. But if you don't know, Crobat tends to do videos comparing older games in a series to newer games in a series and showing... Usually, unfortunately, he's showing how the newer games have just completely dropped the ball or have just been extremely lazy compared to older titles. And I feel bad because I kept hearing about Back for Blood and it's like, oh, the original creators, hey, we got all the clues. The original creators of Left 4 Dead came back and did their own sequel. Like, wow, that's really cool. And that's all I ever heard about that. And then, I watched that Crobat video finally, and I was like, oh no, why did he do a video on this? And yeah, he goes into basically, as he usually does, shows all these examples of how Left 4 Dead was just a lot more thought put into it and stuff like that. But, but uh, aside from that, he basically shows that the claim that the original creators of Left 4 Dead did Back 4 Blood is extremely extremely uh, false advertising because there's like a tiny handful of people like maybe five out of like 60 people at the most who worked on Left 4 Dead who did Back 4 Blood like the number of people who worked on, on Left 4 Dead and in really like important positions like far outweighs who ended up doing Back 4 Blood so like that claim in itself was like just very unwarranted and that surprised me the most because i just had not heard anyone talk about that like i don't know if they just didn't know my brother said he like tried it and he just didn't have a lot of fun and that's only because i asked him because i saw the crowbat video and nothing you know like if people enjoyed it that's cool but when i when i watched it it was just like there were a lot of problems even down to the fact where there's no modding support, which a lot of people were huge fans of for, for Left 4 Dead. Just no modding support. And it's like, dang. That's really unfortunate. But yeah, just the whole... Fax said the thing that hurts the most for Back 4 Blood is it doesn't feel unsalvageable, but I don't know if they'll get that chance. To me, the whole claim of like the original creators just feels really scummy now. After seeing all the people who put in like all this work into Left 4 Dead who had nothing to do with Back 4 Blood, who were just apparently ignored. I'm just surprised Valve never really said anything about that. This code okay. Input nine three two. You needed chaos theory for this, huh? 
Whoops. In fact, would you be my Bentley? If I was like Hooper, you'd, you'd have to do all these crazy math equations to get these three-digit safe codes. Oh! Sweet! Well, that's just a bonus. The roll was useless before, because you just rolled around and it didn't do anything. So now it does damage? That's actually awesome. I'm gonna have to try it out on an enemy, not on a ledge. <laughs> I might be sm smarter. I was trying to decode something in a game yesterday, so why not? What were you trying to decode? Was it like actually just a random math equation or was it a... Something else? It was the Walter game and funnily enough another major player was introduced named Atlas. Wait, what's the Walter game? Were you and Sword like discussing a game that you were dubbing the Walter game and like you didn't even bring it to my attention? Because that's really funny if that's the case. Um, so which levels have I done? I think I've done all the ones here. I think we just need to move forward now. I think. I could always check the map. Jack has broken the Zodiac Killer message. Wait a minute, I don't have enough keys? Don't you get one from the opening and then I just got three more from doing three levels? Oh. Sorry, usually it's automatic when you unlock, but in this case... Well, no, it's not always automatic. That's not true. I just wasn't paying attention like usual. What did I blow up? This? Now we can go down here. Oh, okay. I calculated the trajectory of these rockets and... I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. Oh, but cool. The experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, <laughs> That's one way to go up. You're going to need all seven this one, Floyd, do you want down now? Keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. You DM me a picture. Something like Walter has gone missing. You must chase after him. Oh yeah, I think I do remember that. I just assumed that had something to do with Sword, because like... 90% of my DM conversations with Sword is just talking about Walter. I'm starting to think that, that Sword is better friends with Walter than me. Because they're always defending him. Every time Walter does something bad, Sword's like, But he's so cute. But he's a bad boy. Was this another race? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Curry, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice this snow cone Hang stand, on one second. And I think to myself, Hey, Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over. Did you say monkeys are everywhere? You could use the key. Come on, Fly. You can take them. Come, Come on, Sly. They're a pack of monkeys. Come on, buddy. How can I lose? All right. Remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy there patches. You go. Okay. Where was I? Yeah, did you ever play the Paperboy game for Game Boy? No. I played Paperboy for N64 first, which is bizarre, by the way. Maybe I'll do that on stream one day. Because it's just Paperboy, right? Like, you're just going around playing 3D Paperboy. And then suddenly there's a boss fight with the Frankenstein monster. That's all I really remember. And then I played the original Paperboy for NES. I think those are the only ones I played, really. In the first hour of the game, you basically do a Luigi's Mansion, and just every time you open a door, it's... Walter, Walter. I had that game. All you did was throw newspapers and run away from dogs and burglars. Walter. 
The Game Boy game's probably, if I had to guess, is probably very similar to uh, the NES game. It was probably basically a port. Oh, right, we need to remember how to actually race, which using the D-pad isn't very good because you need to do very gentle turning from what I remember. Yeah, see, I'm already very behind. Doesn't help that this place is even slippier, slippier, slipperier, more slippery. English major over here. I guess slipperier is probably an actual word. It just sounds really awkward. A bit harder to pick up these nitruses. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a few attempts, ain't it? Oh boy. Oh no. That's the first time maybe I've even hit the ice really bad like that, too. start um i think the lesson you mentioned last time is that you need to barely yeah unfortunately i have a really bad joystick for doing that and on top of that ice now at least that guy screwed up makes me feel a little better oh great i got like stuck on snow or something Man, they put the nitrous in very bad spots this time. Like before, it was, it felt a lot more natural where you had to be to grab it. On this one, it seems like you want to, you have to, yeah, see, like I had to go into the ice there just to get that. And then here you have to make like a wide turn. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Because we needed those nitruses to win last time. We were barely able to get to first place that way. I like care you want to go through the ice just to get that. Oof. The thing is, like, the gameplay here doesn't inherently feel that bad. They just make what you need to do to win extremely strict. Yeah, that's not gonna work. See, I'm like not moving. I'm holding up and right. It's just, it's a dead spot on the joystick. It used to only be like up left had a dead spot, but I think now up right also has a dead spot, unfortunately. The joystick's definitely getting worse. But on a lot of games, it's not really, uh, it's not too bad of a hindrance, but this is one of those games where it really is. Like on Spider-Man, I didn't really notice it being a problem at all. Like not at all, really. On Little Nightmares, it wasn't a problem. But on games where like it really fully uses a, the 360 range of your joystick, yeah. Dude, get out of my way. I'm trying my best to like skim those nitruses, but it's tricky. Especially when they grab them. That's such a messed up decision to make them able to pick them up. I almost feel like that was an accident because it's not like they use them. They just sort of grab them so you can't use them. Which is a little petty, I have to say. Damn it, I was hoping I could get that one. What's 
Once I get in front of him, I can like block him off pretty well, but it's just... Oh, there's only one more too. Damn. I didn't realize I was already in second place. Well, this was a better attempt. I don't know how that dude got so far ahead. Oh! Driving on the wrong side of the road. Murray, calm down, buddy. Maybe the strat in this one is using the nitro to boost past- Yeah, that's what I was starting to try to do. The trick is you need to like start pick- It's just trying to pick them up without- You know, like that I couldn't have picked that one up without skidding a bunch. They're not really in the best spots. That guy picked up the nitrous. Well, that guy just goofed up completely, so... I'll take that. I'm gonna try my best to... Is he really catching up? Dude, get out of here. You had your chance. Even these car... The uh, other racers have RNG on them, which is funny. Sometimes... Damn, see that, that the first place guy is going to get pretty far ahead now because there's no other cars near him. So I'm going to try my best. Boom. I'm playing a little dirty, but sometimes that's what you got to do. Oh, no. Okay, we have a couple laps to catch up. Oh no, we're on the last lap already. When did that happen? Damn it! No! Oh man. I screwed up. God damn it. I started panicking because I realized we're on the last lap and then I... The fact you could flip over like that does, really doesn't help. Ah, oh, it sucks. He got too far ahead. I'm just gonna restart. You jerk. Do not take those nitruses. Those are for me. I just realized Murray's driving with his head out the window. That's extremely dangerous. Whatever you do, don't do that. this at home, kids. Do not take the nitrous. My nitrous. Get out the way. Oh, you jerk. Ooh, wait. The, the first place guy isn't super far ahead this time. You might have a chance here. Put one more nitrous. God, but where's the... I can never tell where the, where the finish line is. Should I use it now or save it? I don't know. Oh! Oh no, this ice! Stupid ice. Damn it! That's the fin- God damn it! I was so close and I, they had to have that dumb ice patch there. And you can't just restart right here. You have to wait for Murray to stop talking. Gosh darn it. Just smashes his face in the nitro balls. I know we could do this. That was just really unfortunate that I hit the ice right there. As I did again right now. It's weird because I don't even slide on the ice most of the time. It just... I guess you just hit it at the wrong angle and... Ah, oh, great. The first place guy's going to get far ahead again this time, isn't he? the nitro. I knew one of them was going to grab it. I could just tell. There's too many of these guys right now. 
Why are you guys letting the first place guy get so far ahead? Oh, you jerk. You didn't need that. Ugh. You're supposed to be boxing him and not me. Oh, you. You little jerk. These guys are just boxing me in. They're letting the first place guy run free. Get out the way. Might still have a chance. Nah, he's so far ahead. It's possible, but... Yeah, if they let the first place guy just, you know, go with no problem, then you're kind of screwed. As long as like even like the second place guy is like putting some pressure on him, I feel like that helps. Which he fell behind. Oh boy. What did you do second place guy? What happened? You guys are sandbagging. This is a fixed race, isn't it? Oh god. Okay, kind of recovered there. This Ice Man. Not Ice Man, the X Man, but you know what I mean. It last. We, we have time to catch up. We just have to be careful. Pick up these nitros if we can. Boost on straight pads. Oh god. That actually wasn't bad. I thought I was gonna like crash or slide, but. Oh, I got it. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. Box him out. Now, don't crash. Don't slide. Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Whew. I should go see how speedrunners do these levels. Probably just not crashing into anything. Never noticed the ice textures on the map until now. Yeah, Iceman the Mega Man boss. Yep, that's who I meant. Definitely. Time is it? Okay, we still have like another hour 15 before Walter time. Hopefully I'll be able to beat the first boss before then. Okay, so we've done that. Oh. What the? There we go. Now that there's an invisibility thing, sometimes that supersedes your just hanging onto a wall thing. What is that? Oh. Oh, it's another twin stick shooter. These ones are always fun. I like that they they have variety for all the different levels. It, it's not all sneaky stuff. Sound effect for blasting through stuff. Still sounds like you're chunking through snow, but now we're actually in a snow level, so it actually fits. They're like popping out of nowhere. I won't question things. There we 
There we go. Oh, they're coming out of like little trap holes, I see. I thought that those were just barriers. Speedrunners just bounce out of the track and grab the key while the race is still going on. What the hell? That's messed up. The fact you could do that's funny though. That means that the key is literally just programmed that if you touch the model of the key at any point, you, you beat the level. That's funny. I guess that technically would work in the context of the game too. It's like, he's cheating, he left the race and just grabbed the key. No. Glad my right joystick isn't messed up, at least, because for these parts it makes them... Even like the left stick controls on this part isn't, it doesn't really cause as much of an issue just because of how it works. At least I haven't ran into as many problems. And there's the key. Oh baby, a key. For how long it took you to break that down, you'd expect like a bunch of people to show up. Yeah, why can't Murray just distract them with the race while Sly swoops in and steals it? That's a good point. That's the best way to do it, Donga says. Alright, um... What's he trying to do? I feel like I came up here to get around a guy, but now I don't see where the guy that I was trying to get around is. What the... Oh, that's where we came in from, isn't it? Oh, he was here, but now he's just not here anymore. He just vanished. I remember now. Game thought I wouldn't remember. I don't think I've been up here yet. Oh, the rolly thing. I haven't tried it out yet. Duel by the dragon. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon, ballsy. Damn, there's 40 clues in this level. Hell yeah, so this is better than the dive now, I think, because you can just keep holding it down. It's a little different from the dive. The dive is like kind of an instant dash, but... Freeze, raccoon. Uh oh, I look who it is. My heart warms at the very sight of you. Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this... Slice says that so deadpan. If you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for Everything he said so deadpan. I'm to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. I wonder if Sly actually likes Carmelita, or if he's literally just being playful. Because I, I could see it going either way. But I, I like- I just like how deadpan he is. He's like, how can I freeze when my heart warms up at the mere sight of you? I wonder if the voice actor just decided to do the lines like that, or if that was just the intention. Oh no, bad timing. Also, where the heck did she get like a super, like a laser shot? Like what the hell, man? I don't think that's standard issue police weapon. Man, 
I need those clues. Give me the clues. No. Oh, I needed to come this way anyways. Oh! Barely jumped over that. Oh god! Press the wrong- Oh, Jesus! Okay, got a horseshoe there. I like how, like, you Prince of Persia rewind time back to whatever the last spot you were in. It's like basically what happens there when you use a horseshoe. You have such good luck that time rewinds. Oh, the plat- oh, I thought the platform falling hurt me, but I think it just bounced me back. I think that would suck. What are- Okay. Oh, she stopped shooting at me. That's nice of her. That was some physics. Yeah, there sure was. Whoops! Damn it, I like looked over at the chat again and then... Bad timing. I think that's like the... She rarely ever hits me with her... Electro bullets. Electro rob that bank. I have proof. Also, how great is it that they got J.K. Simmons back to be J. Jonah Jameson again? That's so awesome. I do wonder why they didn't get him a wig. Or, uh... I, like, maybe they just wanted an older Jameson, maybe? Because he doesn't look too different. I feel like if they just put the wig back on him, he would have looked pretty damn close to how he did in the uh, Sam Raimi trilogy. And from what I know, he, he already wore a wig for that one too, so it's not like it would be, you know, a new thing. Whoops. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. Can you... There you go, thanks. Is this just me or is her model huge? Maybe it's because she's far away? No, that doesn't make sense. Far, far away things are smaller. Wait, where do I go next? Oh. Oh, I was supposed to be on top of that. The baldness does help him have that conspiracy talk radio look. Is that a- is there a correlation to that? I- I didn't know. Oh, I think she triggered them that time. clues. Ah. Oh no. Okay, good thing a new one formed right away. You really gotta see where she's shooting, because it's not... Sometimes it's like... She's deciding where to shoot. It's not like a predetermined thing, I feel like. 
Dang. So we're missing two clues. Don't suppose this is going to reveal them. If there's one safe somewhere, that would be enough. Probably. Oh my god. Oh, I thought we hit her. Okay. Oh no, she's just shaking her fist as she sinks into the abyss. That's not nice. Alright, before I grab that key, I'm gonna go look real quick, see if the clues are in a potentially in a place that I can grab up really quick. Probably not, because there was just that long stretch of the ice. Okay, that's fine. I mean, gosh, Bentley, you're supposed to be this, this computer whiz. You need 40 clues just to get three digits. Oh, I think we have them all. Wait. The hideout. Oh, that's just our place. I think we have them all then. So I think that means we just have to fight the boss now. Cool. Maybe we can fight the boss before Walter time. Oh, wait. We have a whole hour before Walter time. Sweet. Just invent, slice some safe cracking tools. Cool. Whoops. And you said the final world might be a little faster, depending, because it's different, I guess. All right, Sally. Good night. You have a good one. All right, I need to. Here I go, I have a 1% chance of exploding to death. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious rock? Not really revenge, I'm just getting my stuff back. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pirate. Damn. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Foo. Flame Foo. Oh man. Oh, he actually like... He doesn't... All the other bosses so far, they uh, had chunks of health taken out at a time, but this one you... It's chipped away, bit by bit. That's interesting. The way he talks reminds me of like Psychonauts, like a Psychonauts boss. Thanks, Sally. See you later. Oh. 
sure what was gonna happen there. Very different kind of fight here. Rather than like one specific gimmick you need to learn, it's it's just be careful and fight him. Just a thief. And it turns out it can only be found in one place. The Krakarov volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Thievish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Oh. This is the only one who, who hasn't snitched out another villain. We figured it out ourselves. <gasps> Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Wait. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some. The fifth cool villain's another Cooper. The team van. This is why I need subtitles. <laughs> A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection service. Hot Latin sure Spitfire. What? They can't down. say that. <laughs> That's funny. I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Puts fiery panda on ice. We headed home to plan our next move. Okay, I thought I misunderstood something there. Because they were talking about one of the older... Slys, but... I mean, older Coopers. Okay, partner, this is it! A trip to Clockwork's lair! He killed Sly's dad in front of him, so it's okay. I guess that's understandable. Oh, there's no little Mur special Murray interaction. He's just eating a hot dog. Otto von Cooper made a cool plane. Bentley and Murray will give the van a cool okay, plane. Mark. Ah, gotcha. All right. Well, that explains. We were on our way to the Krakarov volcano in Russia. How oh, this is While different. Over what little information is partly the final member of the Fiendish Five. I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Sly Cooper in The Cold Heart of Hate. Cool. Clock work with an E. Oh no, it's inverted up and down as in, you know what I mean, inverted. Why do they do this? Maybe. So this is the opening level, huh? Very different. Floyd can't always get what he wants. That reticle's really interesting. It's like a awkward shaped pentagram. Or pentag pentagon. Because a pentagram's a freaking <laughs> star. Huh? The one with usually involving summoning demons or something. Oh no, all these Gorons. Oh! Oh, Sly's dead. Sly Cooper versus IC Wiener. Of course. I always wondered if, like, because that's from Futurama, 
But I, I could never tell, is the joke supposed to be like, I see a wiener? Or like, a frozen wiener, icy wiener? Because as a kid I always thought, icy. Because, I think because Fry gets frozen, because that's in the pilot episode. So my brain always went to that. But it's probably supposed to be I see. Oh, I can move the camera. Robo Falcons. Dude, we're like. This reminds me of like a Pokemon Snap level. We're like in a volcano on the rails. Yeah, I think it is supposed to be icy. I think you're right about that one. Oh god! I didn't really- I barely noticed there was mines right in front of me. This is so arcadey feeling. Oh, they do like a barrel roll before they actually try to attack you. Close. Hey, we made it. Looks like we're in the clear. That was close. Honey, that cave doesn't look tall enough for the turret to make it all the way through. That's okay. Burning rubber. We've got to get through that security door on the far side of the cave. 60? The only way to unlock it is to analyze at least 60 of those hanging computers. It would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Okay. Remember to use our new battering ram by hitting the square button if anyone tries to keep you from those computers. Oh lord. Oh, I see. We need a it's like a sp We need to get to 60 before they do basically. Oh, and they're winning. <laughs> Dang, if only this was like a top-down view, then you could see where everything is at all times. I feel like just going in circles might be the best. No, it's not. I don't know. What do I know? Dang it, this one's gonna take a few tries, I can already tell. Because the arena is so big, you can't see everything. I really would prefer if this was zoomed out more. There's probably a trick to this I'll have to figure out. Because they are wrecking me. Well, <laughs> Wait, did they always come out this way? For some reason I I was thinking that oh no. Oh no, there's like a couple entrances. Okay. Like give me a little bit better of an idea of where they'll be coming from at least. Unfortunately, I don't know the strategy for this, though. I feel like I just need to get lucky.
Maybe I should stay like in the middle, and then I'll be able to see more of where everything is at any given moment, maybe. Oh, there we go. Sweet. We did a lot better that time. Focus on taking out those fire slugs. Get the computers along the way. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Alright, so like an actual level. A daring rescue. Who are we rescuing? Did Murray get? You better get out of there. Hold on. That's Carmelita. Oh, it's Carmelita. She trapped. Serves that She's angry. <laughs> She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. That's the same animation when you foil her trying to ca capture you, isn't it? Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Fly your ridiculous raccoon logic. This is literally the Lupin Inspector Zenigata relationship. But I'm all for it. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there. I've done this a million times. Yeah, what he said. Easy for you to say, Sly. Though I, I'm the one who has to make you accomplish all those things. Whoa. I feel like I should maybe reset my lives before I continue. Yeah, let's just reset. Wait, what? What hurt me though? Because everything was yellow still, right? I legit don't know what hurt me there at the time, but I'm gonna reset my lives anyways. Let's try my invisibility here. I feel like that might be. No, I still got hit. What the? Did they change the rules? Yep. Okay. What are the point of those turning red if you you die on yellow? It's very strange. So okay, you just can't touch those at all now. Even even when you're invisible, like. Okay, I still got hit. Oh, I had a horseshoe though. I'm. Stupid. God damn it. I don't know where that horseshoe came from. What is hitting me? I like I can't see anything. Look to your left. There's a spot you can leap to. But that's so weird, they, they make it... Like... Huh. That's so weird, like, why you would assume why... I don't know. Maybe because he was saying I had to go that way in the cutscene, but I wasn't paying attention. I'm just gonna reset my lives again. It's bizarre because I was like getting hit by nothing. They should have like literally made it impossible so that way you don't try to go that way. I am O. Alright, and then from here. What are they wanting me to do exactly? And then 
assume up here. Nope. Okay, that wasn't a wire. Okay. Um. Why would I jump backwards though? Oh, now I can reach this. Okay. Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna... Is that what was hitting me before? But like, because you can't even see the bullets on those things. the no choice <laughs> there's new versions of the carpeted floor what's what's the carpeted floor deal what I do. Ah, I sneak around. Oh, I got spotted. Oh. Is this a switch I could turn off? The guns would pop out of the globes. Right, right. Right, okay, see, I did not see them. Sh I'm pretty sure their bullets weren't coming out that slowly before, but whatever works for me. My barrel got fried. That's not good. Oh, you can just keep walking when they're shooting, right? I kept, for some reason, I thought you had to be, uh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I forgot, you could walk while they're shooting. I thought you had to be in the barrel when they shot. Yeah, because that would have taken forever otherwise. It's been a while since I've uh, dealt with those types of enemies, so I completely forgot how that worked. I think that was like on the second world. I'll try not to trigger this right away. Oof, just barely got around it. All right, cool. Now we'll have a little extra leeway. Yeah. I don't know why I thought you had to be ducking. Probably because they were sniping me so well last time. Uh oh. Ouch. Get back in the barrel. So Carmelie is gonna forgive me when I save her right now, right? And then we'll be best friends forever. Right? Sly Cooper. I should have known you were behind this. Really? Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. I just went through all this trouble. <laughs> you said a metal What? Empathy has we're dead. Been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap. Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast. Looks like I'm gonna have to join the bad guys. Cheese. Wait, are we gonna play as Bentley? Oh! Okay, 
This is interesting. Do I need to just grab that? Okay, cool. Oh, that was a little cheap. They spawned me right on top of him. Jeez, insta-kill. More or less. Can I kill you? Doesn't look like it. My bullets go right through you. Alright, we'll just have to avoid you then. Now can I touch the walls? Because I keep avoiding them because they feel like lasers, but I bet you I can touch the walls. Oh, but you can shoot his red. That's good. Ouch. Whoops. Okay, let's try not to die this time. This is what hacking is like IRL. I'll take your word for it. Interesting how the piece is like, just comes apart in chunks like that. Did you say level two? This isn't a game, Bentley. This is life or death. Probably safest to do one of these blocks at a time, I'm thinking. Whoop! I say that and then... Dang, Bentley doesn't even get lives. Focus on breaking all those blocks first, staying alive, and then grab the stuff when it's safe. That seems to be the best strategy. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, I thought you could- I thought you could survive one red blast if you had full health. I could've sworn that happened the first time. Okay. I'm just gonna grab these quick, cause... Well, now that I know that the red kills you in one hit no matter what... There's not as much of a point to be so careful with the green blocks. I'm so exasperated. Level four. <laughs> oh no! All those blocks got flung towards me. Oh no! For some reason I thought that was a bat, but it's probably another bird, huh? Because we're fighting a bird guy right now. Oh, those are the last three blocks up there too, I think. I just need to grab those now. Oh, more than one red, nice. There we go. Packing is hard work. W-E-R-K. by smashing its face, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Really? Uh. 
She just ran away. Oh, you, no, no thanks, huh? I want to go on the force field. The final boss is Birdly. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Carmelita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until Clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. <laughs> So she's not gonna blast us anymore? Whoa, nice shot. Wait, I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. If you can When did they grab my cane? To I totally jetpack. missed that. I stashed my jetpack there before Clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I need to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat Clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, Maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Well, thank you. That, that means a lot. Might be able to finish. Uh... Wait, was that me playing right now? Oh, I'm Carmelita. I thought this was a cutscene still. Sorry. Might be able to finish before Walter time if the boss doesn't give you too much trouble. They just did LO, the robo bird carried it away. <laughs> Wow, I'm glad her shots are instantaneous now. Jesus. Oh. At least he doesn't cower in fear like Murray does. He was actually hiding behind a wall. Oh! Oh god. Damn it. No! He's gonna hit him! Okay, thank god. Oh, I thought that was another bird. Almost shot him. I thought you were a bird. Sly. I promise. Okay. Seems legit. Oh! I didn't hear a fire dude show up. That was sneaky. Couldn't see him because the camera's too zoomed in. Well, now I know. Doesn't matter if we're out of lives here anyways, because you'll have to restart from this part anyways, I'm pretty sure. Another one comes from this way. Or maybe it's just lava or something. I was supposed to be doing this faster. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Damn it. It caught up to him somehow. I could have sworn I saved him. Huh. Oh, well. Okay. Pay more attention to the left side. I could potentially start shooting them from down here. Like, way ahead of time. Camera does zoom out like automatically, depending on where you're looking. Yep. 
bird's gonna show up. I just focus completely on the, the fire slugs. Oh wow, yeah, they come out right away. I just was never looking in that direction. Why are you zoomed out? Okay, where are you going next? Oh, that's it, I think. Sweet. Sonic Adventure 2 Space Rail level with Shadow all over again. Okay, that was all a cutscene. Look what you did, Bentley. Time that like right when you get to that part the electricity turns on. There we go. But we don't have time to whoa I fell. I was gonna say we don't have time to wait. We don't have horseshoes or anything. I need to be more careful with those. Okay, maybe I'll jump over the first one and then the second one I'll actually wait for it. Because I doubt they expect you to actually jump over each horse build. I think I could have made that actually. Oh well. Um. Oh. oh, I had a horseshoe? What did that happen? Oh, no! Circle wasn't working. Oh, well. What? Well, did it just go back up? It did raise back up. far away there. Oof, yeah. Just right. Oh, wait, whoa. Okay, and then... Oh, up here. I'm gonna wait. Floyd, not now! Oh, damn it! I- Oh, no! That's so messed up when they- they- The damage flings you off so that you then take more damage and or die. Ah, oh, damn it. And I feel like if I didn't double jump in the air, I would have still been red and I would have survived. 
but because I was trying to save myself. It's weird because you think that the uh, they would know to send you back onto a platform because I think that's what it was trying to do, but it, it overshot a little. Oh god, I did. I wasn't paying attention at all. I probably should have died there. I just jumped and I was like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be landing on, but see what happens. I got lucky. Um, what am I looking at? I don't even. I, like. Okay, that was like a weird platform to jump to, so I wasn't sure. Alright, let me let Floyd out real quick. Okay. Jetpack time. Yeah, probably is because of the way the stage is moving. Even this is inverted. Up, up is down, and down is up. So weird. Wait, is it the boss? Was you in the background of all those old pictures of Mephibius Raccoonus? How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? I'm at least 20. Wow. Did you just admit to being jelly, my dude? Okay. I don't even know what gaps I was shooting into, but hey, whatever works. Oh, I see now the electricity. I didn't even notice that the first time. Dude, you're just flying. What skills? Okay, there's gotta be phase one. Hey Kiko, you made it just in time for the finale. I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world about your precious book. You're nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. But Sly, we've been slowly collecting the pages of that very book. And if we didn't have it, we, we wouldn't have been able to make it here. So he's kind of right. Whoa! Okay, so you want to go through those rings, obviously. Hopefully I don't have to redo the first phase. Oh, you do have to redo the first phase. Which means... Does that mean we're going to have to rewatch that cutscene every time? Alright, we'll just have to play very carefully. Okay, Doc Ock. I am the superior thief. It's 
sly voice actors in between naps while recording. He, he always says everything very deadpan, I noticed. Alright, cool. They don't actually make you watch the cutscene again. Oh god. Okay, so just focus on going through the rings, I'd say. Oh, look. I couldn't even have damaged him until then anyways, so... The sound effect. Ooh. Oh no! I must have touched the freaking rim of the ring. That sucks. This reminds me of, like, a certain game, but I can't think of what it is. on this part. Why are my shots not hitting? What the hell? I was aiming right at the weak spot. There we go. Huh. They kind of ripped me off on that first part. One more out of throw it for this phase. I'm sure there's going to be at least one more. This usually comes in threes. That's like a video game rule. All right. Now what? We're going to fight you on foot, maybe? Superman 64, yeah. His auto reconstruct circuitry. Oh god. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Where am I going? Oh god damn. No. Please don't make me do that again. Start me there. No, that sucks. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. Hey, Mizma, welcome. Well, <laughs> we die on the first phase that time. Panzer Drag Space Harrier. Definitely not Kid Icarus. I haven't played any Kid Icarus game. Not even the NES one. I think Space Harrier I recognize, but I don't even know if I played Space Harrier to be honest. Heck, maybe I'm even just thinking of like Star Fox 64. I just haven't played it in so long. Oh, I have a horseshoe this time, that'll help. I shouldn't have noticed that because now I'm going to not play as carefully as I can. 
You always play so much more carefully and often betterly when you think you have one hit left. No, 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 no. That was weird. Oh, no, no! Oh, there goes my horseshoe. Oh, come on, man! I was hitting circle there. Ah, I hate when that happens. Other times you'll, like, hit circle and you'll lock onto the... a platform that's, like, 50 feet away, and then sometimes you're right next to it and it just doesn't work for some reason. Stealth theme, but not really stealth, yeah. Final boss of DMC1. I forgot that there was a part like that. It's like his first phase of like three phases or something, right? You said you cannot- I cannot escape you? Dude, you're the one flying away. I came here to you, Pope. If anyone's trying to escape anyone, it's you. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Oh, I see. There's a beam there. I did not catch that last time. Oh, God. Feet together. Oh, d d what is happening? Damn it. Oh, God. oh, I think I had a horseshoe, but then, like, the platform lifted and I fell. Or something happened. Ah, oh, man, I can't... Before I could take in what's going on or what I need to do, I'm, like, dead. And then I have to go through all this stuff just to get back to where I was again. I can understand not wanting to have a checkpoint for a boss fight, so that way you have to, like, get good enough at every phase. But if they were gonna set a checkpoint, I wish it was for that last part, because I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing most of the time. Not most of the time, but just... I usually die before I figure it out.
I'm trying to block out any memory of playing DMC1. I did have a pretty rough time with that. My skills are superior. The thing is, you die in one hit. Unless you have an extra horseshoe, which kind of just arbitrarily you'll be given one once in a while. You can find them, but not like during a boss fight usually. And it's the fact that you die in one hit that makes it rough when you're like learning something for the first time. Like these rings. Like when they're flying at you right away, your first thing is like, oh, run away. And then you get hurt. So it's like, that's kind of an insta-death right there. You get given when you die a bunch, but like, you'll be given them one attempt and then the very next attempt you won't be given it it's really weird at least it feels that way i'm not exactly sure what dictates if they decide to stop giving it to you maybe because you ran out of lives or something oh god well that's not good now we have red oh really and then they knock you into the lava. Yeah, when you get hurt in this game, they really fling you in random directions. But I don't even know what hit me, because I I was on the other side of the... Like, I was onto the the pole, I thought. Like, I don't even get how, enough, how a thing hit me right there. But I was on the other side of the lasers though, that's what I don't get. In fact, I literally jumped to the other side to avoid it. Unless the laser's like glitching and going through the wall or something. Oh my god, I got hit on phase one. But right there too, how come I wasn't given a horseshoe that time? Unless somehow I got hit twice there and didn't notice. Which would be bad. It's a different laser, okay. It it just the only it just gets annoying when you've you've basically mastered some of the phases already and it's just the one phase that you keep failing at. Like I know I died right now in the first phases, that's just because I was kind of talking and not paying attention. My intellect. But that's another problem I have. When I've done another part over and over and over again, I start like... My attention span starts waning and then I will start like losing because of that. Oh damn it! Like that for instance. God damn it! So there was a horseshoe I had that I could have used and I can't move! I was like stuck in the bottom right corner right there. I think it was trying to do the thing where it flings you away, except I'm in a jetpack. Well, that sucks. You can't dodge me forever. Now I have that freaking... Oh, damn, I had a horseshoe. But I mean, it literally happened as I was explaining it. Once I'm like done a part over and over and over again, I just start... It gets hard to pay attention because it's like, okay, I get it. I guess it's the ad hid. Never. 
If I could really be careful. <sighs> of course. I was trying my. <sighs> damn it. If only I had that damn horseshoe. That's why Fury's life system is the best. It's a really, really good life system. I love it. And the game is still super hard. And you have to be get. You have to like really master the gameplay. So it's not even like. It's a crutch. It's just. It just makes. It just helps you avoid, like, artificial difficulty of like, oh, you gotta redo the thing you already did a hundred times. And sometimes you still do have to redo stuff, because it is a really hard game and sometimes bosses take, you know, multiple attempts. But, it alleviates a lot of the repetition that you would normally have to do in a lot of other games. Oh god, left. Oh, I was, thought it was gonna be right. That would be really interesting if you could somehow be a sneaky ninja and take out bosses in a sneaky ninja type way. Maybe in, in a game where each boss is protecting something that you're trying to get, and normally you have to beat them to get the item, but there's an option for you to like sneak through and just grab it instead. Feet together. Oh god, where am I going? Do I... Okay. Wow, I was that close to it last time, huh? I think I'd just be rid of you right now. some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Niz Ruby, Panic, Riley, Huey, Granddad. Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaim my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> True. Murray. Boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. Uh, not gonna mention, uh, we'll ever forget there the she is. Carmelita. Looks like we're not gonna be friends anymore. Oh no. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was gonna slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10, ten second, second head start. Time. Oh, I missed some dialogue. Nine, eight, I was just when seven, I got there, I just didn't six, want to die again. Five, four, three. Why two, is he just standing there? One. Oh. Okay. Sly. Oh. <laughs> She didn't seem I upset like about it. Stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. Well, I guess that answers my previous question. All right, cool. 
Yeah, my bad, Donga. It's just as soon as I got to the boss, I didn't want to have to redo it. Alright, well that was fun. Murray voiced by Chris Murphy. They should have just called him Murphy at that point. Carmelita Fox voiced by Roxana Ortega. Wait. Roxana Ortega, didn't someone say that she was voiced by someone else? Hmm. Oh, the credits. Hot Dog Man and Sly Man. Slyman. All you missed was some sequel bait foreshadowing. Why, well, he said you'll never be rid of me. I did see that. Well, this was fun. The The platforming parts did actually get better when uh, with the D-pad. I'll have to keep that in mind if slash probably when I play the next game. Yeah, someone said she was Grey Delisle or something, but it said Roxana Ortega or something right now. Donga said Carmelita's voice actress changes with every game. Huh, I wonder why that is. post credit scene? Marvel teaser? <gasps> Here it is. Really? So is he a recurring boss? Robo Al will be back. Fak suggested this game and it won the poll by a landslide. And Fak was going mad with power about it. There is some good news though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us. What? Okay, I didn't expect this. Oh. It's supposed to be anime style. Is this just the opening, but in anime style? Yeah, it's because any, everyone in my server is a furry. Now, I don't know about that, Mizmo. I think they picked this because it's a childhood classic. I wish I had subtitles right now. Like, I already said that before, but now I really wish I had subtitles. Sarai Kuparu! I honestly wonder if this was just another version of the intro they were considering. Theory. They, they paid for this intro, and then they realized that animation costs a lot of money. So they decided to do the rest of them in a lower budget style. That's my theory. Because the, the animated parts are pretty... Uh, Simple. They work though. Bunk said, I'm not a furry, but Mugshot. Mugshot? Isn't Mugshot the dude who skipped leg day? God of War is a childhood classic as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's kids all right well this was fun thank you for suggesting it much appreciated i wonder what these cutscenes are that we missed hmm. maybe vault stuff well what are we gonna play next i still have to finish isomnium but i'll probably start alternating another game between playthroughs of that now um i'll uh i'll, I'll figure out what that one is but yeah, until then, you guys have a great night. Thanks for joining. I had fun game. This was fun. I'm curious to see how, if, when I eventually play two and probably three, how the differences are, if they fine tuned a little bit of the things. But uh, yeah. Catch you guys later. Have a good